Firm A and Firm B have debt to total asset ratios of 35% and 30% and returns on total assets of 12% and 11% respectively. Which firm has a greater return on equity? We'll begin by calculating the equity multiplier for each firm. For Firm A, our debt to asset ratio of 35% means we have 35 cents in debt for every dollar in assets and equity then would be 65 cents or 65 percent. So we can calculate the equity multiplier or asset to equity ratio by taking the one dollar in assets and dividing it by 0.65 and we get an asset to equity ratio of 1.54. For firm B we're told the debt to asset ratio is 30 percent. This means the percentage of equity is 70 percent and our equity multiplier will be the $1 divided by 0.7, or 1.43. We can now go ahead and calculate our return on equity. Recall that our return on equity equals our ROA multiplied by the equity multiplier. For firm A, we'll take its 12% return on assets and multiply it by its 1.54 equity multiplier, and we get a return on equity of 18.46%. For firm B, We'll take the 11% return on assets and multiply it by its 1.43 equity multiplier, and we get a return on equity of 15.71%. It's not surprising that Firm A has a higher return on equity, as it has a higher return on assets, 12% compared to 11, and it has higher financial leverage, 35% debt to asset ratio compared to 30% for Firm B. So it has a higher return on assets and higher financial leverage. Both of these will lead to a higher return on equity.